Alright, here's some car. Alright, look y'all. So for the people, this is gonna be a, a beginner's uh tank cleaning video for uh beginners who who starting to clean out tanks for uh if you're driving trucks vacuum trucks you know and you don't know how to clean your tank out this is what this video is about right here all right so uh right now i'm cleaning i'm cleaning some uh some sand and mud man and it's, it's crazy but look if you're a beginner to this i'm gonna show you how to clean this tank i should have started this video when i first opened this hatch up but it was too much so i tried to knock out more like some of it a little bit just to you know get most of it out but um i'm gonna show you what i'm dealing with see the problem is the reason why the mud so thick when i went and picked the trail up and uh from a job i just emptied the truck and i never cleaned the trail out because they you know he uh he said it was going back on the job so i just ain't cleaning out but i should have cleaned it out um uh, but by me not cleaning it out this is what i gotta deal with so but i'm gonna show y'all how to clean this trailer right i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my phone but i'm gonna just talk and you know i can't use my phone while i'm cleaning it because i'm recording on my phone i'm out there investing in the gopro but um i'm gonna show you the way to clean it the way you can get it all out and the way your trailer could be clean but uh i'm gonna show y'all what i'm dealing with and i'm gonna show y'all how to wash it out all right this is what i'm dealing with <laughs> mud that thick so i cleaned up the back part it's getting clean so when you're dealing with mud like this sand on all right what you're gonna do is all right you're gonna clean from the front like this with your water hose you know clean from the front and while you cleaning it you're gonna be pushing everything to the back all right so most people when you see mud like this a lot of people want to start in the in the front of the trail up there and they will try and wash it to the back but you don't want to try you don't want to wash it from the front of the trailer because the water and the mud it ain't gonna go nowhere it's just gonna pile up in the front of the trailer so what you want to do is you want to start in, start in the back of your trailer and just cut and wash. Wash it. Because it's going to water up, it's going to liquefy. You just wash it and push it to the end to where your open hole is at in the back. You know, make sure your valve's open and everything for it to go out. But yeah, you're going you're gonna to wash it. And what I normally do, I cut big slices in between the mud with the water hose. And then I start pushing and washing. So that's what you're going to start doing. That. And um, when you wash this side, you get this area clean. Then you're gonna jump to the next hatch, all right? So now, when you get to the next hatch, right here that's open, I got some other ones that's closed because I'm not back down working on these two right now. So once you get this side clean, you're gonna start on this hatch and you're gonna do the same thing, all right? So now when you're washing this hatch, and everything that you're pushing from that side gonna push it to the side of the tank that you cleaned out, all right? And you're gonna push it. Now, once you clean that hatch right there, next thing is as soon as you finish cleaning this hatch you got to come back to your first hatch and push the rest of the mud on out of the tank because if you if you clean that hatch jump to the next hatch clean that next hatch and you're gonna push everything to this and to this and guess what you're gonna have a pile up in your first hatch again and it's gonna be piled up like this again so what you're gonna do is when you clean this hatch jump back to this hatch and wash the rest of it out and you're gonna repeat the same pattern over and over once this hatch clean jump to your next one clean that one out push it to this one push that to this and push it on out the trailer boom so that's how you go ahead on and clean it you never you never want to start from the back because the water ain't gonna go nowhere as you can see how thick this mud is it ain't gonna go nowhere so you start from the front cut in it and just start washing and pushing it, washing and pushing. And as you can tell, like, it was way worse than this, but I started cleaning it, and the mud was probably like to that right here, to the top of this. And I done cut it down and washed it all out the trailer. 
So, but that's the that's the way that you clean the trailer. I wish I could pull up. Let me see if I could uh let me see if I can show y'all. You know, I'm on my phone, I ain't got nothing to hold it, but I'm gonna put it down for a second and I'm gonna cut it up. And uh that's the kind of holes you're gonna be using. Alright, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut a piece up and show you and show you uh, how it's supposed to be done the way you have a good idea. I'm gonna put my phone down right quick. See how I sliced in the mud right there and I cut straight, straight across it. So when you cut across it like that, all the way across, then you take what you cut and then you start pushing it to the back. And you're gonna do it with each hatch. But make sure that when you clean this one, you gotta you gotta keep jumping back and forth each hatch you clean. The way you could just push it all the way out. So uh, at the end of this video, well I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning it out and uh when I'm done cleaning the tank out, then I'm gonna do another video and show y'all the finished process. All right. Oh, and uh, my name's Shai Tamon, you know, and if you if this video kind of help you, if you're new uh, to tankering and trucks, uh, if you're new to tankering and trucks and you don't know how to clean out when you're getting messed like that, that's how you do it. But um, I'm as soon as I finish this tank, I'm gonna do a new video and I'm gonna show y'all the cleaning. The, the, the finished process. All right, y'all have a good one.